start of a very busy week. I did have a very stressful day yesterday because I had just gotten admitted into a class and I had basically five assignments to do today, which I knew I was not gonna be able to finish on time. It would be by 1 p.m., which is in like three hours. Luckily, I did come in contact with the professor and she said that I could have an extension which is nice. I do have to take other notes for another class, read up on that chapter as well. Somehow, I still am enjoying all the work that I'm doing, which is something that is really new for me. I feel so much more disciplined in what I'm doing. Also, just having a good time with it. I like what I'm learning about, so that helps a lot more. Also, I think the good mood has to do with this unboxing. to take this with me to class just on days that i want to maybe like switch it up and not wear a backpack and i think this is like perfect it's so cute and tiny i will give you guys a what's on my backpack later just kind of show you guys all the little cute knickknacks in here i did really want a water bottle that actually measured how much water i should be drinking this guy is actually a keyboard so i am going to switch up the angle here Today we're going to be taking notes on ethics and behavioral research pertaining to the class research, inquiry, and methodology. This is the first class that I'm taking in this subject, so I am a little nervous. On top of that, the course load is more than what I'm used to, but that just means I'll have to be a lot more disciplined this semester. I'm actually doing some research of my own by figuring out which note-taking method produces the best results in terms of understanding the content read and how that reflects on exams. Yesterday, I did choose to write out my notes as opposed to what I would typically have been doing which is typing them out i will keep you guys updated as to what method is working best but so far studies already show that written notes do produce the best result let's take a break i feel like breaks are needed when you find yourself losing focus you're kind of just like reading through the content and it doesn't make any sense i'm gonna take a break to just eat actually i've not eaten anything yet and my groceries are waiting outside <laughs> has a few different compartments this bag has one small pocket in the front one pocket on each side lots of spacious room on the inside where i can fit my computer and notebooks there's also all these little pockets inside in fact one of them i carry my current scents right now from sempered who is a sponsor of today's video sempered is a fragrance subscription service where you can try out a new designer fragrance for just 17 dollars a month it's really flexible so if you want to skip a month you can totally do that and even better you can upgrade to two or three products a month i'm someone who is still still trying to find her signature scent. I don't want to smell like anybody else. The cool thing about Sembird is that you can try out over 600 designer brands, which means that you are destined to probably find your signature scent. With each fragrance, you will get a 30-day supply. So this is a really nice way for you to try out different fragrances before you decide to commit to a full bottle. I am someone who's very much in between like Laurel Lee scents and really musky wood type of scent. And the nice thing about Sembird is I was able to get the best of both worlds. Starting with 
Starting from our selections, we first have Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. Next, we have Skylar Clean Beauty in Indigo Valley, Gautel Paris Petite Shetty, and one of my favorites, Scents of Wood Plum in Cognac. The thing I like about Sunbird is you have an idea of what each scent may smell like as they provide notes for you in each fragrance. Sunbird taught me that you're not supposed to rub when you spritz onto your wrist. You're actually supposed to dab. By rubbing, it destroys the top notes of the fragrance, compromising the actual scent. The more you know. Also, when using the perfume out of the Sunbird packaging, what you want to do is scooch that over. <laughs> And then from there, you can start spritzing away and smelling delicious. You can now click the link in my description box. Don't forget to use my code. My code. Don't forget to use code Michaela55 for 55% off your first fragrance, which is only about $8 for your first month. And that is available in the US and Canada. Thank you again to Sunboard for sponsoring today's video. I do carry a few different notebooks. First one is just a weekly planner. This one I just have on hand in case I do need to jot down something really quickly. This one just goes for any type of note taking that I need to do. Most of my drama notes have been going in here. And of course I have my pencil pouch. And then I have a little travel size hand sanitizer that I take along with me. Comes in handy when you know, especially around this time and everyone's getting sick. I also like to have a few hair ties on hand. I feel like whenever you need a hair tie, you don't have it which is like ridiculous because we have so many of these lying around I don't always take my headphones with me in my backpack in the case that I know that I'm gonna be walking I will take these before I go to class I always take my iPad and put it in my backpack this is practically replaced my MacBook for when I go to school it's just a little bit lighter and I really like the magic keyboard here I also need to remember to always bring something that can charge my iPad there are days that I forget to charge my iPad and then I get to class and it's at like 10% let's pack our bag I just swept up the house a little bit. I originally was gonna go to school a little bit early to finish up some notes, but last check of time. I'm gonna pick out an outfit. We have like, I wanna say like 10 minutes to get to Colt. What am I saying? I originally was gonna wear like these white pants and I realized for this class, we're always sitting on the floor. So that would not be idealistic. This is the one that goes for like two hours and 45 minutes. At this point, I just wanna be like comfy. I think this would be appropriate. Nothing but rock and roll. It's getting a little bit warmer now. I feel like spring is slowly approaching, so long sleeves are just kind of more fitting. I will say I might be freezing after I come into class, so I need to be aware of that. Maybe some like sweats. Like this is really the vibes for today. Just loungewear. Lazy Sunday morning. Hiding under covers, I don't mind staying in with you. Play hey guys, <laughs> all my classes are in here. I don't know, I'm so cold. Why is it cold? Oh my head, I'm so cold. I warm them up for you. <laughs> we like to go late night walks with you to take me home. With you, I never feel alone. My face looks beat. My eyes feel like they're burning. It's been quite the day and we are not finished. I think I'm gonna make myself a matcha, eat some dinner. I feel like everyone is getting sick right now. I currently have the sniffles. I feel like I've had the sniffles for a while now. They just won't go away. I'm also trying something different with my matcha because I don't know if it's gonna go as per plans, but I'm trying to replicate the Starbucks. I typically get brown sugar vanilla syrup and vanilla cream cold foam in mine. And I honestly love the taste of that drink and I've yet to like make it at home so we're gonna try right now but we'll see if this goes well we're gonna put syrup i'm just gonna use the same one Hello. okay at least it's safe to say that the sugar does not come out aggressively which means that spills won't be as bad if it happens Okay, that is not bad. I just kind of lost my touch when it came to my matcha lattes and they were not tasting good. It's 
currently 8 13. i want to try to finish all my work by hopefully 11 30 so i can go to sleep by 12. i have to catch up on some lectures for cast 01 which is taught through a flipped classroom methodology meaning you watch the lectures and read the textbook on your own time so that when you do meet all together the time is devoted to engaging with the material learned for that week this time i decided to watch the lectures and then read the textbook which helped me better understand what i was reading our professor does expect that we read the material first but hey sometimes you have to create a system that works best my skin for you. is like super oily at this point and it's really red we're gonna sleep now i will take more notes tomorrow but for now i'm tapping out it is not the time that I intended to wake up. Set my alarms for seven. Didn't wake up till 9.30. I let myself sleep in when I just know that I didn't get enough sleep the night before. Also, my skin's been really dry, so I'm just using all these hydrating products. This is like a honey serum. It goes on really smoothly, and it just feels really... It's also Tuesday. I feel like on Tuesdays, I typically, you know, spend some time with friends. I don't know if that will happen. I love Tuesdays and Wednesdays because I only have one class on those days So after it, I just go straight back home get back to work or kind of have more of a self-care day Let's get the day started I used to use so many different colored pens for my handwritten notes. One different color for the title, one for the subsection, and the other for bullet points, which now looking back, I understand why it was so hard for me to find things with all the craziness going on. So now I am limiting myself to one colored pen and the other being a black or blue one. keep consistent with going to the gym the past week was not the best just because i was so busy i didn't have time to like squeeze it into my schedule you know something that i like to remind myself and i think could help you guys realistically life gets in the way sometimes set realistic expectations for yourself so if you just have a incredibly hectic busy schedule but you want to go to the gym seven days a week that might not be possible so be okay with maybe cutting it down to like five or four the purpose of the gym is not to stress yourself out it's kind of to release stress anyways the gym outfit is really cute it's pink and let's have a great sesh so I have this quest bar. It has 20 grams of protein. <laughs> out of juice i don't know if, if i need to like just give it a rest because i feel like that's ink there i don't know but i don't want to like switch it into an entirely a different color i don't know maybe like blue at this point note taking is number one on the things i hate doing this one page took me 15 minutes to do so i'm opening it up to you guys please tell me your own note taking methods that maybe don't take as long while still providing a good understanding of the material currently i'm either reading through the chapter and then taking notes or taking them as i read through just depends on how detailed the chapter is i just finished at some point i just felt like i was reading a lot of the same material so i kind of stopped taking notes because a lot of it has to do with experiences of my own like family experiences because that's what the chapter's on my hair has just not been it i do have to take a quiz tomorrow so we will do that but so far things are settling down i'm not as stressed i also made this like really big meal dumped some spicy mayo on there arugula salad and salmon with rice and we're gonna watch 
selling sunset in the midst of all these busy days remember to take time to fuel your appetite do some self-care and check up on yourself it's easy to get lost in all our to-dos that we forget that there is enough time to take to ourselves protect your peace because that is at the center of it all we're starting off the morning with a lovely quiz everything that I need to get done. I still have to read a case study and I've been putting that off. So I think if I put myself in a setting where I have to be productive, it'll force me to do it. Also, my skin looks really nice. I didn't wash it yesterday because I was so tired. And so this morning I was taking my time. My favorite part of my skincare is actually sunscreen because I feel like everything else just doesn't matter if you're not wearing sunscreen, obviously. I also didn't wear makeup all throughout this week. The reason that is, is because I'm trying to let my skin breathe. I also just get really lazy. So I'll just go bare face. I think it really has boosted my self-confidence within just like my bare face. Let's put on some blush. I'm gonna put on a lot of blush. <laughs> lots and lots. Sometimes blush and concealer, curl your lashes. It's all you really need. <laughs> So good for its first couple sips but after i need like a cold glass of water i need to remind myself that i cannot finish these drinks because i always get them and then i can't even finish three-fourths of it i decided i would come back home do my 238 class because the music was a little loud mm, i feel like money my back crack i might change up the scenery a bit actually do the rest of my work here that is the end of today's video thank you guys for continuously supporting me i hope that we can all motivate and support each other to achieving our goals and dreams stay sane stay happy i'll see you guys in the next one hugs and kisses